Well, hey guys, we have another uh, Copart bike. It's uh, a 2010 Triumph Scrambler. It's a cool bike. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while. Saw it come up on the auction. So I bought this one in San Diego. Uh, you know, it didn't have much damage. So the right foot peg was broke off. The uh, ignition was punched out and the gear shift was broke off. Um, so looking at the bike, somebody put a little bit of love into it. Um, looks like it had a rack of some sorts on the back is what they come with factory. So somebody took that off. They put this undertail on there. Um, they put some basically straight pipes on it, which is, is pretty loud. Sounds good. You have to check my other video out to see here it running and riding. They put all the heat wrap on it, which is kind of cool for a scrambler. Um, they put these cool uh, turn signals on and they took all the front stuff off front fender off which I don't I don't know what maybe that got busted off when it was wrecked I don't know it's hard to I mean it didn't like here's the the brake levers busted off and so is the clutch I, I don't understand how you get a broken foot peg on this side there's no real rash you know no rash that I can find to break that off. And then same on the other side. There's no rash. And we got the broken clutch lever tip, but kind of strange. So I obviously was stolen because of the punched out ignition. And, uh, you know, I think somebody, somebody bought it new and put some love into it. And then it got stolen. And the person that stole it Probably had it for a while. Probably beans it's from San Diego, drove it in some salt water, and you got the wheels are pretty pretty rough looking. They got some rust on it. It might clean up a little bit. I'll have to see what I can do. Um, you got rust up here. That's pretty good. The handlebars are pretty rough. But it has 3,800 miles. And these are the original tires from 2010. I think they're 09 tires. Um, so I think the original owner didn't put hardly any miles on it and it got stolen. Whoever stole it probably put the majority of the miles on it. But, you know, I don't know. It is pretty rough. Ripping the seat, dent in the tank. But, you know... So I paid a thousand sixty-five out the door for this, which is a really good price. Um, and then I paid six hundred dollars to have it shipped up, and what would it cost to fix it? It's not much, <laughs> like forty bucks. Like this foot peg I had laying around. This is off of a. Uh, uh, Triumph uh, Tiger and it didn't quite fit so I had to drill out the hole and I had to cut some cut some of the bracing off to make it fit but shoot it works fine Fix, fixed it with nothing and then you know you saw the bolt this is a nice little trick you know just if you bust a lever or you know your shifter just drill it out and put a bolt in it this ended up being threads left, so I just stuck a bolt in it and a jam nut, and it works fine. So, what uh, what could you sell it for? Or what's Blue Book? Blue Book is probably about forty five hundred bucks, I think. Uh, that was Blue Book was hard to find a number for a scrambler. It didn't have it listed as a scrambler, so. 
it listed a Bonneville, which is basically the same exact bike for 4,200 bucks. So I'm guessing 4,500 to make it a scrambler in there somewhere. But then it's reconstructed title. So, you know, what's it really worth? And I don't know. I'm guessing if a guy was to clean it all up, you might be able to get five or uh, 2,500. And I paid thousand so i'm into it basically 1700 bucks to get it here and running and riding sell it for 25 that's not really i mean it's okay money i guess make a few few hundred bucks profit but this isn't a good fix fix and flip but i got it because i really been wanting a scrambler um but <clears throat> i think still not quite enough bike for me so i'll probably end up just parting it out but you know, so I just thought I'd uh, show you guys. I know you like seeing the numbers and what it costs to buy some of this stuff and what it costs to fix it. And, you know, it's all it's doable, guys, to, to fix and flip or buy on the cheap man. buy them at the auction. You know, you can get a lot of value. So if you like this stuff, give me a like. Maybe a subscription so you can see more. And uh, hey, comment if you would tell me what you think of the bike. If you think it's a piece of crap or think it's cool, um, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.